So jump in there. This is a refractometer. We use it to measure bricks or the sugar content in a plant. So Kurt and I were talking. So a lot of times I take a leaf. I take, I had to buy my own garlic press. This is actually Kirk's, but at home I had to buy my own. Cause I guess we use one when my wife cooks. So I guess I learned the hard lesson way. That day. <laughs> yeah. um, but long story short, I just took a leaf. One thing that um, I always try to do is make sure I get a majority of the midrib because that's where a lot of the moisture is at. Okay, and also sugar contest. So take the midrib, you put it in. Gibbs has an awesome video online on this. I actually updated to a uh, vice grip that's got a yeah. V on the top. V. The yep. Oh, okay. The Hutter Wrights made it that. that. Yeah. yeah. They don't practice these issues. <clears throat> no. Where do you get it, Gibbs? Make it. Amish guy in Wisconsin actually sold me one. I was going to make <laughs> one. I mean, my time was limited. Dude, you can make one in probably 15, 20 minutes. Okay. If this you... guy happened to have one for 40 bucks. I'm like, take my money. Price <laughs> alone's 20, so for a good one. Yeah. <laughs> and just know you can tell you guys have had rain this year. If you didn't have rain, you about have to have a vice mm -hmm. grip. I mean, that's why I yeah, felt comfortable with this it. today. Yep. If if we uh, we're dealing with a drought right now, I'd be cussing. Is blood blood from a turnip. Yeah. Yeah. So like right now, the plant that I just pulled is calling for a or is saying that is a a two um, bricks. All you gotta do is take it and point it to the sun. Anybody want to look at it just to see what it looks like um, while they're looking at it? So every plant has a bricks level uh, that's quote unquote. Uh, levels to help it be resistant to insects fungi so on and so forth i mean thomas dykstra has an awesome youtube series on this uh, but what he talks about is once you hit that 10 to 12 threshold majority of insects you don't have to worry about anymore okay just remember that is leaf tissue that 10 to 12. because what i could do is i could go to a cornfield and if they let's just say the corn that uh, r3 that milking stage i could take that and probably get a 20 from the ear because that plant is trying to take all of its sugars and put it into that ear right because if you get into a lot of different books they talk about how like sweet corn needs to be a 22 that's really good or really high that's from the fruit so if you if you're reading it from books and there's a chart of a bunch of different plants more than likely that is where they want the fruit to be at for higher quality when we're talking about vegetation that above 10 is strictly leaves okay